Hello dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum, I am engineer Muhammad Rizal Haq. Welcome to my automation tools YouTube channel. We know in most of the gas turbine are controlling by G control system of containing Mark 6 E and Mark 6 ES controller. In different condition, we have to force the analog or digital input value in G control system for maintenance or repair or changing purpose of faulty feed instrument. Today, I will discuss about the forcing procedure of analog or digital input value of GE control system of Mark 6 and Mark 6 ES controller. So, let's start. At first, we connect the GE control system. So, we go to the start button and go to all programs, then go to the GE control ST, go to the toolbox ST and go to toolbox ST, click on toolbox ST, then the or the controlling the programming software of the GE control system will be open. You see, it is connecting with the controller. After opening the program software, then go to the share I.O. In share I.O, you can see two types of controller, one is general APS controller and the safety instrument controller. We can connect any one of them. So, I am connecting with the GE control system, GE controller, the general APS controller. It is loading component from the G1 controller. Take some time. After connecting, we go to the connection and designate controller, press OK. Then the it will be the software will be directly connected to the controls controller of this the control system. In the status mode, you can see the condition of this controller. You see three controller is running in the G control system, that means that the six controller are running, three for the general electronics and three for the safety instrument system, here you can see the controller status. Now I want to see the force value, so go to the view and click press on the force system, then you can see the forcing element that already forced in the control system, all forcing value are showing is here. In a Defined purpose we have to be forced in the defined say element uh, for any of the uh, abnormal condition or any, any the uh, changing procedure. Now I will show how can we force an analog input or the digital input value for our the set uh, maintenance purpose. So I am uh, finding one of the faulty instrument that we want to change or that we want to repair this. You see here is one of the uh, Field instrument is showing that wrong value, the temperature transmitter, maybe the sensor of this uh, transmitter is damaged. We want to repair this one. In the alarm system, we can also see that this transmitter is showing an alarm cell complex or discharge temperature sensor fault. So, we have to be replaced this sensor. At the running condition, if we want to replace this transmitter, we must we have to make a force in condition that means that we, uh, we want to force this value. So, in the corner right click the right button and go to the point control panel. In point control panel you can easily find out to the tag number or the uh, control tag of this G control systems. So, here you can now find out for the your the desired the tag number. You go. You see this is the other tag number and here is so the uh, controller tag. That means you see CTDA01 which is the Tag number, uh, you can use this tag to find out the uh, block in the logic system. You see CTDA01. We write this one in the general electronics or G1 control system to find out this uh, block. Then we can uh, make the force value. So we go to the find option and here we write down this tag number CTDA01. Then press the find button. 
and then it is a searching in the logic system the block diagram block of this a desired tag number in the large size uh, in the system you can see it is the, the desired tag number that we want to make the first value for a maintenance purpose that we want to make change the sensor or the transmitter of this uh, temperature transmitter you see here you make the we put the some value that cannot detect the other system or logic system of this control or running the control, uh, running the this turbine or the turbine system. So we double click on this value, then put our some value, which is the degree Fahrenheit system. So we get the eighty and place the first value. And yes, the two type of is sent and sent and close. If you place the sent only the value will be sent and sent and close, then sent and the interface will be closed you see you press the sent and close and we are showing the now in the sms system you can see the value is fixed it is not showing the negative value that means we have already uh, phrased the first value it is showing that us but in the sms system it does not showing the healthy system and in the first thing list you can see the this first thing list you see we have the first value it is showing that before it was not uh, present in there because we make the force value now. In the forcing list, you can see all the force uh, items or tag number that you already force for this uh, system. You can see from there here. In the transmitter, we want to also press the digital input that is the healthy system of this transmitter. Also, force you can press the false and press the send button because when the transmitter is a uh, 100% okay, then the value will become false, uh, sorry, false value. So, we press the false value and plus you can see that that is also the all is normal value. But it is normal value by uh, pressing the forcing, but not in the actually normal. In actually, we have to be sen sense the sense the sensor of this transmitter. Here you can see in the list of this uh, forcing listed, you can see that we have the two force. One is digital force and one is the analog force. Both force, force are showing the list of this uh, force variables. You see, one is the force false, and another is the degree Fahrenheit of 90, de 90 degree Fahrenheit. It is showing all this here. Now, after complete your work, or after changing the element, you can only remove the force value and press set and close. You see, it becomes the normal value. And uh, in the list, you can see it is present or not. You see not present it means it already unforced. We have the also the healthy system already forced. We had you can make the unforced you say place okay remove force value and send and close. You can also send and close you see it's also removed not present in the force variable list. In the block system you can see all is are become the as usual as it was the before before this was the force value. Now I will show it is a I show the force removing in the force variable system. Now I want to force enough from the block system. For that I am again force it. You see it is the showing the force in the list. You can find out the forcing variable. It is the forcing variable. Now I will unforce it from the logic system. Before I was unforced from is the variable system. Now I have Unforced it from the block diagram system, block system into force value, remove force value, and set and close. You see, it has become the normal value. If in, it is not shown that it becomes the normal value because I do not uh, uh, change the element. If you change this element, it become will be normal, all things will be normal. And uh, after unforced, you see the least value in the no forcing value are showing. In the another one, I want to show it is so, it is the it is already this uh, force value is present is here. I want to see close, I want to force the healthy system of this uh, transmitter. You see, for first you have find out the tag number, then you go to the find option. In the for finding the tag number in the SMS system, you can press the right button and here see the point view controller. Then you can see all the tag number in this space that was present. Then in this list, you can find out the desired tag number. Then you can go to the logic system and find out the uh, tag number to make the force value. In the same, in the searching result, you can see different types of uh, option are showing. From here, you can find out the 
block diagram where this was connected you see it is the block diagram that the, here the all the compressor thrust bearing temperature are is connected from here you can find out the heavy systems uh, of this uh, desired tag number it is the variable 12 so we go to the variable 12 in the left hand side you are showing the variable hard V A R hard 12 which is the, the we want to make the force one on the health system so down and go to the variable uh, 12 number of 12 you see with the variable 12 back is showing the true acknowledge that means that it is already become bad and it is uh, true acknowledge we make it force and press the face the center close and go to the SMI system that you can see that is it become the heat system is normal we, but in actual it is not normal we make it force for maintenance purpose then you can uh, change the element then go to the unforce it make it unforce that I show you the how can we force and unforce in uh, digital input or analog input in G control system for maintenance or changing purpose after before to change the uh, maintenance any field instrument uh, for a uh, faulty field instrument uh, first you have to be force this value in the system that cannot take the running condition of a uh, turbine or to protect the trip of this turbine system so for doing any maintenance work or to change any in the element we first we have to make the force value then we can change the our faulty instrument then after complete your uh, desired works, then you can make it unforce. So in the list you can see make force and unforce list in, in the control system. Just uh, you want to see the list of the same uh, force variable, you go to the desired controller, then go to the view and press the view force variable, then you can see the list of the same uh, variable elements that you already force. It will make it, I have to make it on the un unforced and in the list it is not present uh, because I make it the unforced. Uh. So, therefore, I try to show you how can you make a force variable in the G control system or Mark 6 E or Mark 6 ES controller. In this way, you can easily force any input variable, then you can change the transmitter for the faulty instrument. After the complete your work, you can make it unforced. So, if you think that my video is helpful for you, please subscribe my channel. If you already subscribe, thank you. Also, like, comments, and share to others that they can learn about the forcing system of mm -hmm. uh, GE Mark 6 E and Mark 6 E S controller. So, thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Also like, comments and share. Thanks for watching.